Hi, welcome to G-Cube Designs tutorial on adding glyphs from the Samantha Thought into Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Now this can be used with either Studio Designer Edition or with the Basic Edition. I have a file open here, Property of, and I want to add a name below it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Search, do Character Map, <clears throat> pull that up. And you can see it says Samantha Upright. First thing I need to do is go down here to the bottom one that says Unicode Subrange. Click on that. New box opens up here. And again, we want to go all the way to the bottom. Private Use Characters. Now we have all of our glyphs in here that we can use. So let's go down. I need an L. Add this here. That one looks good. Select and then Copy. Click back onto Silhouette Studio Designer. Hit my font. It's already at Samantha Upright. Click, and then I Control V to paste in. Finish the name. And I'm going to change the Y and make it have something off to the side there. So I selected the Y. I go back to my character map, which is open on the bottom now. Go down to the lowercase letters. Here's the Y's. Let's get rid of this L or it's going to copy them both back over there. So just delete that out of there. Let's see here. I want something that's not going to affect my Z's. So let's, that should work. Select, copy, again click over here. Still got the Y highlighted, so all I need to do is Control V, paste it in there, click off. Now let's zoom in here so you can see what we need to finish up doing here. See these little connector lines here? If you're using vinyl or paper, it's going to cut all those red lines, so you want to get rid of those. So what I do is select on it, right click, weld, and now they're gone and it'll just cut one continuous file. Now I like to group it up myself, so group. And now we can zoom out. Enlarge this to where I need it here for this. Alright, there looks good. Color it in with some black. Get rid of the red outline. And there we have it. Now what I need to do is, let's go here and let's do Oh, no, wrong one. Let's go here. Let's go over here to Align. Align Center. And now I'm going to group it again, just so I don't lose it. And then for cutting HTV, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it horizontally. And there, I have my file ready. Thanks.